Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Our today topic is to calculate the heat loss through a roof. This is the roof, the made of the concrete roof. In this tutorial, you will learn how we can calculate the heat loss that is 1.69 kilowatt using SolidWorks simulations. The roof of an electrically heated home is 6 meter long and 8 meter wide and 0.25 meter in thick. And the thermal conductivity of the concrete is 0 0.8 watt per meter centigrade. The temperature at the inner and the outer face of the roof at one night are 50, 15 degree centigrade as well as 4 degree centigrade. So let's start our solid work simulations now. First of all, you will make a model that is 8 meter wide and 6 meter long. So open SOLIDWORKS now and change units to meter kg second. Then draw a sketch on the front plane. Draw a rectangle with centered rectangle options. Draw at origin. Give it the dimensions. It is 8 meter long as well as 6 meter in height. Exit from sketch now, then make a simple extrude with the thickness of 0 0.25 millimeter. Then we have to load the simulation modules. So from SOLIDWORKS add-ins, load the SOLIDWORKS simulation premium module. To start a new study, to click on the simulation tab and start a new study. Then give it a and then select from the advanced simulation the thermal option. Give it a specific name to this study that is the roof thermal. Our next step is to define the material that is concrete. So we will generate our own material in SOLIDWORKS library. So just right click on the part. And here is the custom, custom materials. Just you can see that uh, we have already made a concrete that has the thermal conductivity of the 0.8. So if you want to make the new material, just make a copy of any material. For example, I am going to copy this glass one and make it a copy. And here is the new category of material that I have generated. Just paste it here. You can see the glass has been pasted here. You can rename, rename it. That is concrete. And it's the thermal connectivity. That is 0. Point. It give then apply that material close so concrete with thermal connectivity of you will assign the temperature that is four degree centigrade at that time inner or in the home. So from thermal loads, just select the temperature, select the outer face 
after roof 10 units to Celsius and enter the value that is 4 degree centigrade. Similarly, inner face of the forming the thermal connection simulations. Just run your simulation study. Our mesh has been created now and simulations are in progress. So our simulation has been completed now. Just go to temperature if we want to check the final temperature at the inner side, change units to the Celsius. So we can see that temperature is almost here. Yeah, this is the temperature change. There occurs along the thickness of the roof. We can also plot this temperature change by using the probe. Then select the unselected entities options. Select the this edge by taking the thickness of the roof and update. Then plot. So this is the thickness of the roof. You can see how temperature is changing with along with the this is at, at zero. That means this is temperature at inner side. And here someone as at the mid of the roof that is the 9.5 degree and that is at the outer surface of the roof. So our next step is to calculate the heat loss through this heat connection through this roof. Just right click on the guards and click on the list heat power. Here you can see that the total heat loss as you can select any phase. So here is the total heat loss that is 16 1689.6 watt. So this is the total heat loss that will be occurred through this roof. If we check these results or compare these results with our analytical calculations, you can see that this is very very close to the this numerical this hand calculations value. I hope you enjoyed this tutorials. If you have any query you can ask us in comment box. Thank you for watching.